My name is Bruno Cofield Galliano, and Jill is my aunt. At birth, Jill was severely brain damaged, leaving her intellectually disabled for the rest of her life. At eight years old, Jill moved away from her family into a group home. We don't even have our appropriate furniture here. We look like a yard sale. In 2014, Jill moved back in with her family at 49 years old. Institutional life was hard on Jill. When she arrived in Los Angeles, she was unable to walk on over 20 unnecessary medications, being fed through a tube connected to her stomach and covered in psoriasis. In group homes, Jill was treated as less than human, as a large majority of intellectually disabled people are. During a visit in 1995, we noted that Jill exhibited all signs of pregnancy. She was raped. Somebody there raped her. Somebody there committed an act, a felony. They started giving her a lot of drugs, which made her very groggy. Okay, Oops. go ahead. By the time that we brought her to California on November 14th, 2013, she could not even stand on her own. So slowly but surely, Jill began getting better Progress is incredible. Jill is alert. She's enjoying. She laughs. <laughs> it's like she is a different person. Before she was a vegetable. Now she's a human being. She's full of life. She's just. She has a personality. She's expressive. She's just a joy. In The Quality of Life, we explore what people with intellectual disabilities go through, what their families go through, and how one family stood up and said enough is enough. <laughs>